everyone, you join me here with the 2023 Lincoln Corsair. This is a particularly cool Corsair as, yes, it's the facelifted version, but it also has the Jet Appearance package and the pretty rare, actually, Blue Cruise package that gives you the hands-free driving assist system, which is a pretty cool new feature from Ford and Lincoln. So let's go take a quick tour and drive of this thing because it's interesting and it kind of blends more of the luxury side and comfort in this more performance oriented little smaller SUV class. So if you aren't familiar with the Lincoln Corsair, it does share a platform with the Ford Escape, though you really would never be able to know from both the outside, inside, and how it drives as Lincoln's pretty much changed most of the entire vehicle to be kind of its own thing. And you can really tell that from the exterior styling. Outside, it looks like a baby aviator. And that was the whole point of the design for the Corsair. And I just think it still looks fresh even with this facelifted it looks really good in this jet appearance package now the jet appearance package can be had with different colors so here we do see it in black over black which i think is like one of the cooler options you can get so we are getting these exclusive black wheels down here which look quite nice and you are getting black out trim on the exterior as well as black badges that Typically used to be exclusive for black label models, which the Corsair doesn't even get, but you are getting all of that blacked out trim, dark tinted windows as well, to really get that nice um, sporty-ish look. Up front here, we don't have the upgraded headlights on this one. Those um, look a little bit different actually. So we have regular reflector LED lights and your daytime running lights here. Up front, we can notice we have a fully blacked out grill as well. It's exclusive again to the Jet Appearance package. And a little bit of a sportier lower bumper fascia. Um, the other ones have this kind of more chrome and bright work finish on them, which looks a little bit different. And you can also get a plug-in hybrid one with a plug on this driver hand side up front here as well, which looks kind of cool. Here it is in the light. Again, it looks pretty nice. Out back, we have a full rear um, light bar as well. Always been on the Corsair. And we have dual exhaust tips down there, which is nice. Honestly, this engine sounds really good. It has a nice little rasp to it. Lincoln logo spelt out back there. Blacked out lower bumper trim as well. So it's a really full on blacked out package out here. Um, trunk space is decent. Nothing too bad, you have your gas cap here. You can check out the metallic flake in this paint as well. It's pretty, pretty nice actually. Back here, it's a little bit of a mess in here right now, but we have a lower end rebel audio system on this one um nice stitching this is like a truffle style interior so it has like this it's not actually gray or black it has like this greenish brownish tinge to it which is kind of interesting um these rear seats are heated pretty decent amount of space back here as well decent amount solid sounding thunk from the door as well you do sit pretty high back here you can see this is my eye line i'm sitting like above the front driver pretty interesting um there's a lot of legroom actually like a lot i can stretch out here i will say though these seats feel like you're sitting a little too high thankfully you can recline the rear seats um to give you a little bit of some better seating position but i think there needs to be better thigh support because my thighs feel like they're hanging off of the entire seat and i'm like sitting completely back in them so that's a little bit annoying back here we also are getting like i said um heated seats two stage on each side as well as some climate vents and some power outlets down there but uh, otherwise nothing else too crazy in there um we do have this center console piece right here which can fold up it's quite nice stitch in that leather as well feels very premium i really like that fold that down and you have two cup holders in here um, which is really nice there isn't that many um cup holder storage in here these kind of door pockets are a little bit tiny um, we have this little side pop panel here and there's ambient lighting in this interior um you can't really see it during the daytime the seats are covered in this really scratchy hard black plastic on the back which honestly looks like it's like falling apart already which is a little disappointing um other lincolns have this wrapped in some other material we do have some storage back here as well as on the passenger seat nice stitched center armrest as well let's go take a quick look up, up front we do also have a full panoramic roof which is closed right now can't open that for you guys but it's actually pretty big. It goes like really far back, like even behind um, the passengers back here, which is really nice. And we have this updated front cabin up here, which looks pretty nice now. Um, really just make a new screen over there, some new interior trim. But let's go take a look at what's going on up here. I do wish these seats back here were just a little bit more comfortable. They're a little tight. You have a panel here on the side if you want to lock and unlock your vehicle with a pin code. It's pretty similar style stuff going on on this front door panel over here. We do have our seat controls on the door though for up here. And you can get a better look at that truffle interior. Really interesting color on here. Let's hop inside. Side sills, aluminum, really nice. Not illuminated though on this one. 
You know, Lincoln has improved the interior quality for the Corsair for this facelift. So let me just turn it off for you guys. I've got a little bit of a taste of what it looks like when you turn it on. See that star pattern when you turn the vehicle off? Just open the door, kind of reset everything. Your start stop button's right here in the center console. It's the Corsair emblem pops up. It's your startup sequence. Got those Detroit Symphony Orchestra chimes right there, which sound really, really nice. And yeah, this is the interior of the Corsair. You can get a few new colors now. There's a red interior option. Um, I think a lighter interior option, full black, of course, as well. And you can even get this really cool illuminated star pattern in this dash. That's another option as well. This one does not have. Instead, you get this kind of nice aluminum, real aluminum trim. It's cold to the touch. A little Lincoln uh, logo and bought laser etched on the side of there. It looks really premium. The leather continues up onto this upper portion of the dash. It's a nice design here. It's very almost like Germanic Audi-esque with this long um, horizontal beam here for your air vents. This is actually just a fake little piece here, but this piece has been improved to quality. It was really cheaper on the old ones. The big thing here is this new massive display here running the newer like sync software. Um, it honestly, once it boots up, it actually works okay. It takes a little bit of time to boot up though, and it's a little glitchy when it first turns on, which is a little annoying. Otherwise, it's pretty fine actually. Um, Apple CarPlay takes up the whole screen, pinch to zoom for the built in navigation pretty decent um all of your climate controls are unfortunately in the screen and there are always down here but you know i do prefer on physical buttons i think we all do if he had seats up here um ventilated seats as well look at that and it's kind of like this cool like star pattern um graphic in here it's a little bit laggy but it does get the job done at the end of the day and you can control all of your other climate controls there some in car features your driving assistance so these are all the things you need to turn on to get that blue cruise working the hands-free driving assist it's a lot of safety systems on this one um pretty much everything you need on here lane automatic lane changing and that all is controlled from this whole center area over here really huge heads up display as you can probably see that on the camera too it's that nice um and all of these bits on the steering wheel actually appear when you turn on your um, cruise control system so the buttons right here and all of those little buttons will appear down there so you can set your speed you can change your following distance cancel and resume it right there and that's pretty easy and on the screen will actually pop up this little glowing orb of blue everywhere which is kind of cool i'll kind of overlay some video of that and that'll kind of let you know when you need when you're in blue cruise or not or um depending on what mode you're in and you have this infrared um, light camera sensor here that'll be scanning your eyes and that will make sure you're keeping your eyes on the road which allows that um hands-free process to activate and it's only on selected highways so it's not anywhere like a tesla autopilot style system um pretty easy to just turn that off too you can just do that little button there steering wheel is pretty nice fully leather wrapped heated um contrasting colors here with the truffle and the black you do have a voice control button here which is a really terrible placement for this thing I, it feels really cheap honestly and no one ever uses it because it's not a good system but they still put it there anyways um you, you can activate and turn off your lane keeping system from this little button on your turn indicator and headlight switch there um yeah, you know, pretty. It's pretty decent in here. Some of the buttons are a little bit Ford-esque, but Lincoln's gone a long way to make this interior their own. Um, this is new for the facelifted model year, so we have this new kind of like little centerpiece here. It says Lincoln. I'm um, spelled out these new, this new array of buttons, and you still have a physical volume knob, which is nice as well. Your piano key, uh, little dials there for your gear selector now there's this, this one does have a 360 camera system as well it's okay i've seen much better 360 camera systems you kind of have to like zoom in on this tiny little screen to really see all the stuff which is kind of defeats the entire purpose of a real 360 camera you can change these main views but you know i i wish it was a little bit more um advanced even toyota has better systems these days which is shocking so hopefully they'll improve that in the future um big glove box down here pretty decent size you do have some storage over here um some models with the and the lighting packages will have like a lincoln logo little projected down here which looks really premium this feels a little cheap and plasticky down here unfortunately but you do have a wireless charging mat um because you do have wireless carplay and android auto uh usb c and a port thankfully they both i think i think the c one works i know for um, wired carplay if you want to use that still the drive mode switch here the two big cup holders and pretty decently sized the central center armrest as well for some storage these seats are generally pretty comfortable um they're a lot more 
comfortable in the rear seats for sure. And with the heated and cooled part, they do feel quite nice. Um, I think there's an additional package where you can get some more like maneuverability in the seats, but that's gonna be a little bit more expensive um, up there. Otherwise, guys, this is the interior of the Lincoln Corsair. It's pretty nice, pretty comfortable, um, nothing too crazy. You do have a frameless mirror here, which is nice. Um, it's okay. It's not bad. It's, it is a little bit of an expensive of a vehicle nowadays. Um, they have definitely creeped up there in price, but it's still an interesting offering. If you want to be different, have something a little bit more comfortable than all the other compact, like compact SUV crossovers on the road now from like an X3 to a GLC to a QX50. It's an endless amount of offerings. This is definitely a unique one in the segment.